So how's it going ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. So happy Mondays everybody. Hope you guys are starting your week off great. If you're new to the channel, I am Bregster and I create content, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything Yu-Gi-Oh! So today we are gonna talk about um, Master Duels. Master Duels has just released the new upcoming limited or forbidden list and of course this will be implemented on May 9, 2022. So anyways, here is the site guys and here is the list for this limited and semi-limited. And this is the new forbidden and limited list for Master Duels in general. The main forbidden and limited list for TCG hasn't come up yet, but soon we'll have that since it's almost going to be 3 months prior from the, from the last update for the forbidden or limited list. So first and foremost, we have here Cyber Angel Ben 10. So Ben 10 is widely used amongst um, Drytron players and so far that's the only one i can think of that's been um, rampant in um the game or in the meta game for master duels having dry Trons, one of the, the top three decks in master duels and if you are playing in platinum you'll notice this or you'll notice dry Tron players using three copies of cyber angel benten most of the time so having this limited to one won't actually hurt the deck by far but it would lessen the chances of course for the deck to get this card um, on your first draw. Needless to say, like I said, Drytrons is very good and very flexible when it comes to its cards and its archetype in general since most of its effect works on the hand or in the graveyard. So it's basically not a problem if they have um, Cyber Angel Benton placed in the limited list, to be honest. So next up, we have Conquistador of the Golden Land. So this card having limited to one, it's and this card is also an untargeted um, trap card needless to say eldritch in general is not really reliant too much on this specific card uh, in general eldritch having conquistador limited to one copy is not really a problem since eldritch is also one of the top two decks that is widely used in a uh, master duel and if you are in platinum you'll also see most players use eldritch decks um, in this rank next up we have semi limited cards so DD Dynamite has been semi-limited to 2, so this um, creates problems for the deck. Maybe it killed it, maybe not, since you'll just need 2 copies of DD Dynamite and 1 copy of Banquet of Millions to win your game. Problem is, um, if you don't have this on your first draw, then you'll have to search it with, which, with other cards, of course. So basic cards included in this deck are, of course, the Lilith and Trap Trick. Trap Trick, of course, you have to discard or send one trap card which has the same name of the same card you want to set on the field needless to say like i said it's still um, a viable cost for the death of this deck next up we have seca slide so seca slide if you are in platinum you've seen this card most of the time since this is widely played with regards to ad emancipators and some other cards that doesn't rely mostly on magic or traps um sent to the graveyard or if ever you have three copies of this card and you'll get this on your first turn you draw two cards Anyway, so next we have Fusion Destiny. So, problem with this card. Um, I have no problem with this card because because most of the, my games in Platinum doesn't involve around heroes. Frankly speaking, for, for the whole month that I've been playing in Master Duels, um, I've only seen Eldritch, Drytrons, Lyrilus, Tribigate, Zodiacs. There are rarely a, a player that uses heroes as their main deck Platinum. This um, creates a question for me on why Fusion Destiny is on, on the semi-limited. So possibly there's an upcoming card since it's going to be May, a new month, meaning new content for Master Duels. So new packs, possibly you'll know what the next card will be, right? So regardless, yeah, Fusion Destiny is semi-limited to two and for a reason and that reason alone. Um, although you having this to semi-limited is not really a problem since you have your Verte Anaconda to be played if ever you want to go with a playstyle. Anyway, so that's my insight of this card, semi-limited. Konami has its reasons, alright? Konami has its re reasons. Next up, we have Phantom Knights of Thorn Scales. So Thorn Scales is not really that um, problematic with the deck. I don't know why Konami actually got this to semi-limited. So I think it's because of uh, number 86, but honestly speaking, there are other ways to summon number 86. But uh, I don't think Thorn Scales was the problem here, but number 86 in general is the problem. 
Next up, we have Tri Brigade Fractal. Fractal is widely used with regards to um, Lyrilis, Tri Brigade, Zodiac um, combo decks, and well, Fractal is one of those cards that is very useful with regards to the deck. If you are going with uh, Tri Brigade Zoo, Tri Brigade Lyrilis, it still works. The deck still works. It hurts the deck a while just having Fractal to two, but yeah, like I said, Tri Brigade in general is very strong at the moment in Master Duels. And being one of the top tier decks in Master Duels is no exception, or that shows how Tri Brigade is really good when it comes to their archetype alongside other archetypes as well. This doesn't really hurt the deck too much. Next, we have Lao Lao or Lei Lao or Lao Lao. Um, anyway, so Virtual World is having two copies of this. It's not really a problem since most of the cards or some players are actually playing this with two copies alone. It doesn't hurt the deck because Virtual World works with um, other stuff as well. Next, we have uh, Lyriless Cobalt Sparrows. So, Cobalt Sparrow is not really a problem since there are other Lyriless cards that are really a nuisance uh, in the game. <laughs> and of course, um, having that specific card to be limited to one or even forbidden, on my opinion, is one thing for me. Having this two, having this semi limited to two, is not really an issue. It doesn't hurt the deck or the archetype that much as well. Uh, there's a lot of cards that, that can search these cards. Um, I think the the priority for um, Konami for having this to semi limit, they don't want the game to to end on one turn. So yeah, I think that's basically it. So anyways, next up we have Prank Kids Roxy's Proxy, uh, Roxy's. <laughs> Roxy's, why did I get that word? Roxy's is not really a problem with regards, with regards to the whole um, Prank Kids meta. They are still the top three um, top three tier decks that is used or widely used in um, Master Duels. So I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, there's Adam Adamancipator Analyzer. Uh, I think maybe it's because Prank Kids Roxy's is widely used also for Adamancipator decks. And if you face an Emancipator decks, you've known that they are include they are also a rock monsters and that can easily be excavated from your deck. I think this uh, kind of like a two for one hit because um, the Emancipator is uses rock monsters and also prank kids Roxy's can be used on Emancipator decks and for the semi limited list. What I seen or what I've um, dealt with so far with Emancipator decks is that they always go first with Researcher. Researcher is one of the um, good cards for uh, Adam and Spader and Analyzer is a bit of a meh uh, card, but it's still use very useful as well. Adam and Spader is still very strong and is still also as one of the top tier decks in Master Duels. <laughs> so Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. So this card has been removed from the Forbidden list and it's now unlimited. Or three copies to be exact. I haven't played with players who actually use red eyes decks in general. So maybe having this to three copies, but needless to say, the red eyes players only use one copy for this one uh, most of the time. So yeah, I think that's it for the content. And yes, guys, the most interesting part for me is the fusion destiny going to semi limited. So let's get it. So hopefully by May 9, we'll have more packs or new packs that we could see and i'm really hoping that that card would be there so that's it for today guys and hope you like the content feel free to like and subscribe and let's get to above 50 or 50 by the end of the month and let's see what happens anyways that's me signing off take care good luck and keep safe Bye bye